Hello, my name is Dr. Ida Tiberian. Welcome to this presentation of our scientific abstract entitled Sonographic Evaluation of Normal Acromioclavicular Joint Width and Capsule Thickness at Rest and with Stress Maneuvers. We're going to begin with a simple overview of the joint anatomy. The AC joint is a synovial diarthrial joint between the acromion and the clavicle. There is a joint capsule which is reinforced by acromioclavicular or AC ligaments as seen in yellow in the image to the left. This is further strengthened by four ligaments which make up the caracoacromial or CA and caracoclavicular or CC ligament complexes. The CA ligaments offer horizontal stability and the CC ligaments vertical stability. Normal joint width is historically defined as between one to three millimeters. Now, with AC joint injury, current classification systems rely on radiographs. An AC joint sprain without a radiographic abnormality is diagnosed clinically, and higher grades of injury must show increased joint distance compared to the contralateral side on radiographs. However, static radiographs can be deceiving. In this scenario, some authors suggest using weight-bearing radiographs. However, this causes pain and discomfort to the patient. It can exacerbate injury and has actually never been shown to be accurate. When it comes to AC joint instability, there is no widely accepted method to diagnose AC joint instability in patients who do not have overt ligamentous disruption, which causes a lot of patients with ongoing shoulder pain to therefore fall under the radar. Our study had two main objectives. One, to characterize normal AC joint width and capsule thickness in healthy individuals. And two, to characterize normal AC joint mobility using dynamic maneuvers. Now our methods involved sonography of bilateral AC joints performed both at rest and with two dynamic maneuvers in our 50 asymptomatic volunteers. The two maneuvers were cross-arm adduction and forward flexion. The image below will show how we measured the AC joint width and capsule thickness. Now, Normal. Uh, this slide shows two videos. The one on the left is normal AC joint motion, and the video on the right is a traumatic AC joint pain in a 23-year-old patient. Our results were as follows. We had a population with 25 male and 25 female subjects with an average age of 32.1 years. As you can see, the average joint width for the AC joint at rest was 0.59 centimeters. Now with both stress maneuvers, this number decreased significantly. The mean capsule thickness at rest was 0.42 centimeters, and this slightly increased with both maneuvers as well. This slide shows that there is a significant difference in both average joint width and capsule thickness between men and women. Um, in women, these values are lower and then just statistically significant. However, as you can see, the difference between men and women in both scenarios is not necessarily actually measurable in practice. Um, in addition, hand dominance had no significant effect on either joint width or capsule thickness. Hobush et al. scanned cadavers and showed a normal AC joint space width of 3.3 plus or minus 1.1 millimeters. Our study showed a mean width of 5.9 millimeters, and we believe this is due to differences in measurement technique as seen in the image to the right. The study by Hobush et al. was measured with the green markers, and the red arrow shows how we measured the AC joint width. 
Petrons et al. Uh, demonstrated the utility of using the cross-arm adduction maneuver in evaluating AC joint mobility, and we validated that maneuver in our study. We also found that forward flexion is an equivalent maneuver to cross-arm adduction. Both can be used to elicit instability. In conclusion, average AC joint width in asymptomatic volunteers is 0.59 centimeters and decreases by an average of 0.18 centimeters with both cross-arm adduction and forward flexion. Either of these stress maneuvers may be used to evaluate the AC joint. Mean joint width and thickness are smaller in women compared to men, <coughs> and hand dominance has no significant effect on either measure. We have provided our references for you to review if you would like. And we thank you for your attention and interest. Please feel free to contact me with any questions or comments. Thank you.